Hey, I uh, realized after I finished recording last time that I should probably try and get some, um, what is it? Poison cures. So I'm going to try going to stores that might have poison cures or some kind of, you know, status effect cures. Because all I have is a, is a HP heal. So we're going to do that before we head off to um, the park. Who are you? Dr. Reiko. I, mm, I don't want to leave. Crap. <laughs> I just didn't need direct healing. Do they have like a shelf where I can buy heal items? <laughs> didn't think I'd see you here, Maki. Wait, Maki? I didn't recognize you with that outfit. Are you working here now? <laughs> yeah, I'm doing a sort of residency here while I study counseling. You look well, Yukino. Oh, let me introduce you two. This is Maki, an old classmate of mine from St. Hermelin. She fought alongside me three years ago in a, in a apparently canon side story you can't possibly play through on the first time. Are you Tetsuya? My name's Maki Sonomura. It's nice meeting you. Aha! Well, she looks like she's doing well. So you've met Fidelon too. Well, any friend of Yukino's is a friend of mine come see you if you ever need anything. Well, why don't you join me, and together we can go stop these people. Hanmaru Park. We just came from here, but apparently now it will be different. Can you tell me about the mask circle? No, why? May I talk to someone else. There's this guy named Tony in the Yumazaki shopping district. Rumor is that he's a fence for the Mafia. Toku-san, there might know more about stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Is there another person here? Ah, I'm stuck. Jinji Sasaki is producing a new group, right? His songs are the best. I'm so looking forward to it. Masked Circle? Wh what are they? I've got nothing to do with whatever that is. Too specific for my tastes. That's amazing! I didn't know you were making your debut, Lisa Sun. Wow. All right, don't play dumb. You're the third member, huh? Third member of what? What do you mean, third member? Wait, I really I don't understand what you're talking about at all. Okay, I guess I can't advance that conversation. There's this guy named. Oh, I, yeah, I already talked to you. Okay. Um, well, she told me to come to this park. Maybe I need to talk to him, like I did. Oh, there we go. Why not ask the salesman at the sushi restaurant? Oh my gosh, why are we going all over the city asking people about the mass circle? <sighs> I really hope it doesn't come back to bite me in the butt when we're telling all these people, Hey, the mass circle is this really powerful organization. By the way, rumors come true now, you know? Where's the sushi restaurant? Did he say in the Lotus Mall? I wasn't paying attention. I was lamenting the fact that we keep telling people the Mass Circle is powerful. I could really go for some sushi right now. Of course, it's like midnight, so that would be a bad idea. Whoa, hey, hey, stop in the name of love! We don't need to be here, right? Right? Um, yeah, we do. Is that you, Aikichi? Then hurry up and help out with the restaurant. Kenichi Mishina. Motto is heart, brains, and prawn. Wants Aikichi to follow in his footsteps. Rumored to be skilled at multiple martial arts. What in the hell? Is this a joke? What the hell are you wearing, boy? <laughs> yes, sir. D -d daddy o I mean, uh, Dad. Hear me out. There's, there's a good explanation for this. It was uh, practicing for a costume party. Right, Tatsuya? It's for the school festival. It's, it's not like I always dress like this. Uh, I guess I'll light up, apparently. <laughs> Costume practice. I uh, hope you know what's coming to you if I catch you lying to me, boy. I don't know why. That just seems right for him. We already decided you're going to be taking over this restaurant someday. If I find out that's your everyday outfit, there will be hell to pay. <laughs> Come on, Dad. D don't be ridiculous. 
Let's go, Tatsuya-kun! We gotta get the hell out. I mean, get back to practice. I don't wanna leave. I need to talk to somebody here. Yo, sushi guy. Oh, you seem delightful. I don't want to... Oh, I wish that wasn't an option. I can leave when I'm ready to leave. I need to talk to someone here. Who is it here? Sushi royalty. The third member of the Muses is still such a mystery. It's human nature to be intrigued by such things. It's a very clever promotional trick. Who are you? I'll have you know, I'm an extremely skilled salesman. A man in my line of work hears a lot of rumors. Some people call me a rumor monger. Oh, good. Toro Yokoichi. A graduate of St. Hermelin High. Oh, yeah, we talked with this guy, didn't we? He was the one who was, like, obsessed with that random girl at the high school in the first game. Rumors could come in handy for a salesman. If you hear any interesting ones, let me know, and I'll return the favor. Ask about rumors. Other rumors. Uh, I don't want any of these changed. Masked Circle. I've never heard of it. Is that some kind of organization? And these people are here, in this city? This is big. I should look into it immediately. Hmm. Maybe the girl at Peace Diner might know more. Have you tried asking her about them? We just... Gah! We were just there! We literally asked her about them. <sighs> I guess we're going to the Peace Diner, which is not here. It's back in... Yoshizaka? Yumizaki. Persona 2, running around asking people to ask you where to go. Or something like that. Uh. Alright, B. I'm gonna stay here and wait for Cozy Senpai. No, tell me. I don't care. Everyone's sending me in circles. Okay, so let's think. We got sent from here, by her, correct? To the fortune teller, who sent us to the park. And then the guy in the park sent us to the... Where were we just? To the sushi restaurant. The guy in the sushi restaurant let us here. So that means somebody here needs to know. Somebody here must know. Can I go upstairs? No. There's like three people in this restaurant. Mass circle. I don't care about Tony the weapon smuggler. I don't think we skipped any rumor mongers. It's weird. We really beat the bushes, but we didn't learn a thing. Hey, I know. Let's try going to the Kuzunoha Detective Agency. Maybe Chief Todoroki and Tamaki know something. Thank you, Maya. That was legitimately helpful. But that's all the way back over. <laughs> in the other place, I can't remember the names of these places. I only remember Rengedai. Hirasaka. It's in Hirasaka. We're gonna run up quite a subway fee. Tell me what I want to know. No, not Ginko. Stop it. Let me talk to Tadashi. <laughs> what do you think about poster? It's Muses! A genuine Muses poster! You know about Muses, right? You're right? No, I don't know about Muses. Jinji Sasaki's producing Muses. Everyone's buzzing about who the third member could be. You just can't buy a poster like this. It's a valuable memento. I only got through my detective skills. You better not touch it. Well, you're in the way. Other person, tell me what I want to know. What is this poster? Ugh, you stole it from another station, didn't you? Go put this back right now. What? No, I just found it. If you leave them there, they'll get snatched up by somebody else just like that. <sighs> Detective dude, can you help me? These people are all dumb. 
I get the gist of your story, but I'm sorry, I've never heard of this masked circle. Tamaki-san doesn't know either. Well, why don't you ask the person over in this random park? Those two people in the photo are your classmates? Uh, yeah, I guess. That's Shiba and Miho, alright? Oh, ho I see, I get it. Mystery solved. See that girl's silhouette in the center? The last member. A closely guarded secret until now. It was you the whole time! Ginkgo, an idol. Dude, you can come up with better material than that. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? No, there's no mistake. Rumor has it the third member is a blonde girl with an amazing body. You fit the bill, all right. H hold on there. Gimme, give gimme give an autograph, please. You're gonna go to Moo now, huh? I heard they're holding a video shoot there. Are you gonna go meet up with the other two at Moo? Why do you keep a secret? Come on, give me an autograph. Autograph, autograph. I'm not gonna say that six times. That's enough, you goddamn nitwit. Thank you. You have proved legitimately helpful. Now I see. Those Sevens kids saw this poster and thought Lisa was making her debut. Huh. <laughs> An idol, huh? Lisa, this is no joke. Did you forget that rumors are coming true? You could actually end up debuting for real. Something's odd about this poster. It's like they put these up specifically to make people speculate that Lisa was the third member. Another rumor. You think it's the masked circle? I don't know why they do it, though. I, I guess we should look into this. Uh, Tamaki? I think he's learned his lesson by now. Alright, I guess we're going to Moo. Or Mew. Zodiac. Moo. Wow, look at this crowd. I'd say Muse's reputation perceives them. It looks like they're arguing over something. Let me be an extra in the vid. Look, I'm a great dancer. I'm way better than that, Laymas. I sing at the train station every night, so I know I can perform in front of a crowd. Who should I pick? They told me to bring someone that catches my eye. I can't believe the director's making me do this. How am I supposed to find extras on such short... Wait, they'll do! Hey, you guys, we're filming a music video for Muses right now. Wanna be extras in it? Hey, yeah! Finally, my chance to really rock this, Caspa. Everybody follow me. That idiot. Well, this does save us the trouble of sneaking in. Come on, guys. Next stop, Muses. A music video without me in it is just a waste of time. Though if I were ever in one, I'd just steal the spotlight from the lead anyway. I catchy. We need to talk sometime. Welcome to Moo, Sumeru City's greatest entertainment center. Here at Moo, the entire facility is one gigantic dungeon, with fun packed into every square inch. Some visitors get lost and never see the light of day again, but that's all part of the fun. Great. I can't get it. I can't get it. But there are demons in the lobby, of course there are. Taurus Mask 3. Okay. Hit it with one of our best fusion spells. <laughs> oh wait, are these guys masked circle? I can't turn the camera to see, but I think there might be way people wearing masks. That would make sense. Pass. 
Hello. Man, it sucks having to work on a day like today. I wanted to watch the muses shoot too. Should have just called in sick. And then come to work to watch a shoot? Hey boss, I can't make it into work. Oh man, I feel awful. Oh, hey boss. Yeah, I felt better enough to come in here, but uh, I still don't want to work. What do you have to say for yourself? Everyone left to watch the music shoot. I'm so bored. Maybe I should just go home. People are dying! Ah, oh, the demons trapped the box! The muses shoot. Oh, okay. I guess he told us what to do. Alright, this takes for real. And action! My job in this music video is to play DDR in the background. Thought it was going to make me actually watch the whole music video. Where have you been all this time, Lisa? We were looking all over for you. Miho Ogishima, a student in Class 2C at 7th, nicknamed Miho. Always hanging out with Lisa and Mommy. Mammy? She's the ditziest of the three. So it was true that you made your debut. Then the rumored third member is... <laughs> Lisa, you remember that print club photo we took here? We posted it on the board with a wish for us three to become idols someday. Mami Shibata. Student in class 2C at 7th, nicknamed Shiba. Always hanging out with Lisa and Miho. She is the calmest of the three. And that wish came true. That producer Sasaki saw the photos and recruited us. Well, wait a sec. Sure, I remember posting that picture, but actually being an idol is... Oh, and wait until you hear our debut song. There's a solo part in English for you since you're bilingual. Lisa, what's wrong? This has gone far enough. I don't want to be an idol. You only want me to join because you know you two alone won't get enough press. Don't act like my friends when you're just using me. What? That's horrible, Lisa. Do you not like us anymore? Sorry we went ahead with it without asking you. We have a live radio performance at Giga Macho now. If you change your mind, could you meet us there? Come on, Miho. I don't think they actually did anything wrong. Doesn't sound like they did. Unless we don't know something. <laughs> I don't think you need to be so harsh on them. Are you sure you just want to let them go? Shut up. They'll do what they feel like. Just leave them be. Cool down for a second, Lisa. You know, if they got a debut just off of a print club photo, the masked photo or the masked circle might be involved. The masked photo. We might be able to get some more details from those two. Let's head for Giga Macho. But we just got here. Fine. Oh good, it took me out of the dungeon. Giga Macho! What do you sell? Welcome to the record store, Giga Macho. Buy CDs? What do CDs do? Oh, it's actual music I could buy. Okay, no thanks. Why are there demons in the record store? Alright, I think we've made it to the studio at the top, which is where we're going for the muses, so I'm heading in. And that's that! We're waiting for more letters from you, the listeners! By the way, Ginji-san, you said you had an important announcement to make during our show today. You don't mean... Aha! Uh -huh, you've got me there. Yeah, I'd say it's just about time. Looks like our last guest has just arrived. Ginji Sasaki, a flashy music producer who hit it big a few years ago. Prior to that, he was only a small-time operator with only one hit song. 
And it's time I gave the people what they want and announced the third member of Muses, Lisa Silverman! There you are! Oh jeez, what should I do, Tatsuya? Kalmana, help me! I don't think you have a choice. Time to bite the bullet and go do this. Try to pry out as much information as you can. Take one for the team, Lisa. Go be famous and successful! For everyone tuning in now, Muses is now a full trio. Whoa, that's what you call shock radio. Way to go, Genji, you stylish bastard. Hey, Tetsuya-kun, do you detect a faint persona resonance in that Sasaki guy? I wonder if he's one of the masked circle. If he is, Lisa's in trouble. But if we go along with the plan, we might get some juicy details on the Masked Circle. That's all up to Lisa now. Well then, let's move on to the burning question in all our male listeners' minds. Lisa-chan, are you single? Nah, hi. There is a certain gentleman. Actually, he's here today. Whoa, Lisa-chan drops a second bombshell on our audience. Who, may we ask, is this boyfriend of yours? He's over there. The tall, cool guy. Eee! I said it. You've been saying it forever. Me? <laughs> yes. Oh, he is definitely my favorite character in this game. Oh, you should have said so before. Baby, be mine. I'm going to give you a whole lot of love. Why on earth would I have met you? They have a Star Fox battle. Whoa, 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 calm down, okay, Lisa-chan? We're live, after all. My Chinyan isn't a twisted narcissist like him. Uh, okay, well then, Ginji-san, lay it on us about the Muse's debut song we're all dying to hear. It's based on the Joker game that's catching on with the kids today. Naturally, it's called Joker. I knew it. And since lisa Kun's so fluent in English, I've prepared an entire English solo part for her. I see. All right then, Lisa Chan, got a message in English for all your adoring fans out there today. Well, I had high hopes, but that's all the time we have today. We'll be looking forward to your part, Lisa Chan. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Muses, ladies and gentlemen, kicking off their career with a mini concert today at the Outside Concert Hall in Alba. And there's a wrap for today's edition of Meteor Masa to the Max. Tune in next week for more of what you love. Now it sounds like the Sasaki and the Muses are headed to the outdoor concert hall in Alba. Let's meet them there, Tatsuya kun. All right. To the concert hall! Alright, outdoor concert hall, huh? Made it, finally. That park was a nightmare. This looks like the back door. So, how do we get in? Even if we lie and say we're here for an interview, they'll find out once they realize we don't have an appointment. Hey gang, there's some guys who look like part-time staff over there. They're slacking on the job, seems like. Yeah, it looks that way. But if they're part-timers, they might have employee badges. Why don't we offer to buy them? Could just say we didn't get contact concert ticks. Easier if they try and gouge us a little. Or even if they try and gouge us a little, it's easier to grease some palms and start a commotion. Yeah, you're right. Alright, let's try Yuki's plan. Tetsuya-kun, will you do the honors? Sure, the silent guy will ask for a bribe. Hey, only staffers are allowed through here. I know it's annoying, but we have to do our job, too. Huh? You don't mind taking over our shifts? You want to see the show, but you couldn't get tickets? Huh, this is weird timing. We'd be in major trouble if they found out, but I really don't want to be here. Tell you what, we'll sell you our employee badges for 10,000 yen total. Considering the risk for us, it's not that much to ask, right? Yeah, that's really not much of my money. 
All right, it's a deal. Here you go, our employee badges. Make sure you do your jobs. We're counting on you. All right, let's go wreck that concert. <laughs> Silent talking. Hey guys, that's Ginko's voice. Wait, you're kidding, right? Lisa. Don't make me say it over and over. It's complete BS and I'm any good at English. I can barely speak a word of it. Now, if everyone thinks she can speak English, shouldn't she be able to speak English? Like, rumor power and all that? Do all blonde-haired people automatically speak English? Is it weird for a blue-eyed girl to know Japanese? Am I some freak? You're, you're not weird at all. You're cool because you stand out, Lisa. Oh, so I was bullied as, for it as a kid, but now it's cool, it's unique, I'm tired of other people deciding how to define me. My dad never taught me a word of English, but everyone assumes all foreigners can speak it. They have to stand out. What am I supposed to do? I'm just like anyone else. I'm just a normal girl. I'm so, so sorry, Lisa. I never noticed we were hurting you like that. But if that's how it is, we really can't abandon you now. Come with us, okay? She was right. You just need to get Master Joker to fix you up so you can speak English like a pro. I knew it! You two are in the masked circle! Lisa-kun, what's your dream? Why didn't you tell it to Master Joker? Well, it was so sudden. No, you had no dream to tell him. It must have been painful for you being with Suo-kun and the others. The reporter, the photographer, even that gang boss is pursuing a dream, yet you have none to call your own. It mortifies you. That's why you keep squabbling with the gang boss. Why you continue to cling to Suo-kun, no? I... I had a dream, but I lost it, so... I know your pain all too well. Those who've been defeated by their dreams are pitiful, but you can always pursue another dream. Now call Master Joker. Be reborn as your ideal self. You can be a guide for the youth who have no dreams. The youth who see themselves in your song will summon Master Joker and realize their dreams, just as the exalted one wishes. <laughs> that's... that's a lie. What about the Shadow Man, huh? Why is he stealing everyone's dreaming hearts? You know the pain of living without dreams. They've been re-released, or they've been released from that pain. Isn't that another form of happiness? <laughs> but wherever possible, those without dreams will be granted new ones. That's what the Exalted One thinks. For that, we need you. Join the Masked Circle. With us is where you will find friends who truly worry for you. Where you will know belonging at last. We're a cult! I didn't know Ginko was that stressed out. I can kind of relate, getting pushed around and ignored just because you're different. I need to think about this. Hey, Tatsuya! Ginko went with them! They're gonna trick her into betraying us at this rate! Have some faith in Lisa. Dreams aren't a crutch you can lean on or a gift you can be given. I'm sure she'll figure that out. Hey, you four! What are you part-timers lounging around for? Get out there and guard the stage! And you girls, go collect tickets! What, am I not making myself clear? Get going! I'll wave my soda at you! Oh, Alright, well, let's see what everyone's up to. I get what Maya-san's saying, but I still think we should go rescue Ginko. I'm not worried about her, but if she leaves now, we're down a man. It'd be too late if the crowd starts filing in. Um... 
We let you wait and see what happens, and you turned out fine. We're going to wait and see what happens with her. What? Dude, you disappoint me. Think about Ginkgo's feelings for once. We will now be opening the doors. Please form two lines and then enter in an orderly fashion. Huh, <laughs> too late now. If anything happens to Ginkgo, Tatsuya, your ass is mine. I'm sure it won't. These Persona games are all about people solving their own problems. <laughs> ah, why is the crowd doing a bunch of Nazi salutes? This is really freaking me out. This is not normal. We have to watch the music video. Yeah, we have to watch the music video. <laughs> Michelle's doing his job, and I'm just standing there like, Hey, a concert! This would be a different matter entirely if it was in English, but since Lisa can't speak it, I can't understand anything that they're saying. I love that this concert was so popular it inspired exactly 13 people to come see it. <laughs> One guy in the back rank. <laughs> Just, hey, I came for the concert, guys! Why won't anyone sit near me? Also, two of the audience goers are clones. See if you can find them. Ah, thank you. Let's interrupt the concert now, please. Nope, we're just gonna make idle pose animations at ourselves. Is this important? Is she saying something I should be listening to, or is this just... She's just saying stuff in Japanese, and there's no subtitles. And then she does her weird dance. All right, concert's over. Finally. That was horrible. Lisa's part. Was that the Oracle of Maya? Aha. So that's the whole thing. Wait, was she saying a prophecy while she was singing? It would have been helpful if they translated that. The Oracle? You mean whatever that King Leo scumbag was talking about? I'm sorry if this comes as a shock, but to be honest, I can't speak English at all. I know that's weird, given what I look like, but I feel like lying to you all. And lying to myself wasn't cool, so I won't anymore. Thank you all so much for listening to this weird girl song. <laughs> it was a prophecy! Ow! Huh, what is this? They're all over the place. There's 13 people. Calm down. Check it out, Maya-san. There's something under all the seats. What? Psst, Lisa, the show's over. Don't panic, but you need to tell everyone to leave the hall immediately. It's full of... What? Bombs? Uh, that one guy... Oh, okay, now he's leaving. Um, can we run now? A moving performance, Lisa Kuhn. The more Catch struggles, the more endearing she is. You really know how to light my fire. Whoa, what? <laughs> she was wearing her costume under that costume? Genji Sasaki, that costume! You're one of them! That's right. I'm Prince Taurus. I must thank you. Through your work, the foreign song has been fulfilled. That star is much too distant to be called foreign, I think. You boasted of converting the entire crowd to the circle, gathering all their energy at once, and this is the result. 
fine words. <laughs> Regardless, the Crystal Skull will soon be filled. The energy of humans yearning after an idol was greater than I imagined. I'll make it time for the end of Nahuiolin. What? What's your ultimate aim in harvesting people's dreams and hearts with those skulls? What is this end of Nahuiolin? If you want to know, I have a game for you. My duty is to ignite the flames of expiation to the lands shown by the celestial heavens. Four pillars of fire will rise. Ha ha! One is here. Scour this hall to discover the next target. Somewhere here you shall find a gracious riddle. Ha ha! Yeah! Ha ha ha! Hurry, whelps! This park will soon be engulfed in flames. Ch pointless interference. Well, now you know, Lisa Kuhn, what with little time remains. Let us dance. Is he got that gigantic Mauser in his hand? Boss fight! <laughs> now at Lisa, if you don't hurry and defeat me, you'll burn to death long with your friends. Oh, I'll protect Shiba and Miho, all right. And I will beat the crap out of you. Lisa, let's get this over with. All right. Burn him to death with fusion spells. The boss fight standard. Are you ready? Here goes. Awesome. Boss defeated. Everyone's gonna level up. Excellent. Oh, wow, 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 wow! <laughs> Everyone's really leveling up. Ugh, I underestimated you. However... Mami-kun, Miho-kun, put on your masks, or do you want to go back to your ordinary lives? Shiva, Miho, don't. Why would you do that? That's such a stupid thing to do. Haha! <laughs> Their modest dreams will be used as a foundation for opening Heaven's Gate. Farewell, Lisa Kuhn. That psychotic bastard! He set bombs in town, too. We need to hurry and find the next target and get out of here. Stand up, Lisa. You have to do what you can right now. You can apologize later. You tried to protect them, right? Don't worry. Once they wake up, I'm sure all will be forgiven. They put the masks on. I never believed in my friends, but Shiba and Miho believed in me. Those bastards! I'll stomp all over them! It's nice to put a flashing arrow on the floor to tell me where to go. All right, I guess we gotta go find the bombs. A time bomb. Ah, the riddle. There we go. I found it. Um, obtained the riddle. Come to the next target if you can figure out where it is. Many sparks have been laid, but only the remote transmitter will set them off. Is that the riddle? The remote transmitter will set them off. That's the riddle. Really? Alright, well, I get to get out of here before the bombs blow up. And we can... We can stop getting attacked by demons every three seconds. We can get out of here. Well, that escalated quickly. Concert to terrorist bombings.
That was close. We made it just in the nick of time. No! The fire! Help me, Daddy! My hands! My hands are burning! Maya-san, wh what's wrong? Calm down. That was a pretty crazy freakout. What the... Those burns on your hands. What in the world? You've been friends with her for this long and you've never noticed burns on her hands? What's with her all of a sudden? You gotta do something, Tatsuya. Slap her, no. I'm sorry. I'm okay now. I'm just so scared of his fires. Shameful, isn't it? Whose fires? I'll be flirty. Thanks, Tatsuya-kun. You're so kind. I'm okay now. Sorry about that, everyone. Come on, we need to find the mass circle's next target. Let's see here. Twelve beasts cro Okay, that wasn't the riddle. <laughs> Good. Twelve beasts crown the Pleiades when the winds of change blow. All descend with smiles to the Neverworld. Or the Netherworld, I guess, actually. What the hell? What is this thing getting at? foreign song, the flames of expiation. It can't be anything but the Oracle of Maya. But who? Excuse me. You're Miss Okamura from Sevens, right? My name is Maya Amano. I'm with Coolest Editorial Division. You mentioned the Oracle of Maya right now. Do you know something about it? If you don't mind, I'd like... How do you know about the Oracle? Only Kashihara and I know about it. Asen Suruo-kun. kun It's not me, it's a different name. It's just spelled very similarly. Uh, don't tell me you're part of the last battalion! Lisa Silverman? So that's it. Sneaking a spy in with the students to deal with Kashihara and me too, dirty bastard. Nasty mongrels and minions of the Fuhrer. What? <laughs> the Fuhrer? Did, what? What's that all about? She seemed to know a lot. No, like everything that's happened since we entered the concert hall, people are saying words I don't understand, talking about things that haven't been mentioned, and bringing up random non sequiturs. We can get back to her later. Let's hurry to the next target right now. We don't know what the next target is. This oracle is probably an occult thing. A friend of mine knows a lot about that stuff, so I'll try calling her up. I got through to her. She's gonna meet us at Double Slash and Alba. Come on. Alright, well at least we have a clue. 